Hey there, Alan Matthews here. I have some tips for you on how to make your slurs, your hammer-ons and pull-offs very much easier to play on the guitar. It will be for classical guitar and the other type of guitar. This is just how you play slurs. But this will make it much easier because they're such a good exercise for the hands as well as a very useful musical tool as well. To begin with, let's just review what is a hammer-on. A hammer-on is whenever you play one note, any note will do, and then without playing again with the right hand, your left hand hammers on, hence the name, another note on the same string. So it articulates the note by the force and the velocity of actually just coming down on it. Now what is a pull-off? A pull-off, you put two fingers on, you don't have to, you can do it stagger them, but in general I suggest it. You put two fingers on, play the top note, and then pull down and in. That's a tip in itself, honestly, but that's not one of the big three. You play down and into the fretboard while pushing on the back note, and then that will sound the bottom note by way of pulling off and kind of plucking the string. Now, if, if you just fly off into space like this, it's gonna be weak and there's just nothing you can do about it. It's not gonna be good. But when you're practicing these, go down and in, and then that'll be, that's the bonus tip right here at the beginning. So then, what are these tips? To begin with, tip number one on hammer-ons. On hammer-ons, instead of just using just your finger to do this, right? Watch this. My hand is staying the exact same, and I'm gonna just use my finger to do this, yes? That's one way, or you can actually use your radius and ulna movement and, and use your hand and the weight of your, it's like this, it's, what is that, supinating, pronating? I get these mixed up. But it's using this twist action in your hand to, you have to work on your aim, but you can really get some power behind it. So that is, that's tip number one. Use your radius and ulna movements like this whenever you're playing these. You can't always, but, you know, you can use it a little bit and use also your finger strength so you're not just finger strength going like this but then your whole body going like this uh, if I was to be a big hammer on. Tip number two also has to do with both hammer ons and pull offs and that is to when you're playing with your pinky instead of gluing your hand like this and then trying to do like this with the big old straight pinky Rotate your hand around so that your, your little finger is in a really strong, curved position. And that'll make it easier to play. So you're ultimately, again, supinating or what it, pronating or whatever this is. And keeping your pinky nice and curved and, uh, and strong, while then your index finger is the one that would point if it needed to play up there. You might notice you can tuck your elbow and, and make this happen so if you if you're just practicing your hammer-ons with your three and four finger which you know you should or the pull-offs having this uh this curved little finger is really helpful and so that's tip number two angle the hand so that you're uh so that you're catering to the little finger when you're when you need to and now comes the big one this will actually um really help in your um, in, in your slur playing and this is to angle your hands back on pull-offs especially angle your hands back just a little bit so instead of coming straight up and down onto the string like this and then doing a pull-off which takes a lot of strength and coordination and everything instead if you just like if you let your thumb go up a little bit if it needs to but come let your fingers come into the string at more of an angle and what that does is one, it makes it much easier to pull because you're not straight up and down trying to like do this type of thing, you know, coming straight down and then trying to push back on it. Instead, then you are actually pulling. If you extend your fingers like this, then you're pulling. On, on, the, on the string, which leads us to another bonus that is kind of with the same thing of, of this right here. So the angle bonus tip, push with the back finger push with the back finger so then you're pulling yes you're pulling off but you're also pushing with this back one so that you have an opposing motion going on 
And if you get, once you just start doing this, you can do it very lightly and have a really powerful pull off and use very little effort. Just look how little effort I'm using. So angle, increase the angle. And then when you play, push with the one on the back, the second finger, like that. To exaggerate it would be that. And those you can actually get a really nice, um, a really nice slur technique and start really working the muscles that need to be worked instead of really just over, uh, over muscling everything. This works especially well too for the pinky, which is oftentimes very, um, very tricky for people, and the two and three, which are also very tricky. So, quick review on the hammer-ons and pull-offs. Use your radius and ulna, both on hammer-ons. Use your hand. That's perfectly fine. You can't always, but if you, you know, if you can, then do it. Same thing on the pull-offs. You don't have to just do finger. You can do your whole hands there as well. In pieces, you might not be able to do that, but you know. But it's good to have the option if you want to. Tip number two was to organize your hand around the little finger, curving that and letting the index finger, the the first finger, finger number one making that one more straight. You can tuck your elbow a little bit if you want to and keeping the little finger curved and strong and making the stronger fingers work more. And then the tip number three was increase the angle by which you're coming into the string, not so up and down, not so perpendicular to the string, but coming in at an angle. And then bonus tip would be push on the back finger. And this can be very easy. Just play with how easy it can be. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video on making your slurs easier to play. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I look forward to seeing you in the near future. Bye.